Hi guys, my name is Matt Wilson. I'd like to welcome you back to the RopeDye.com video blog. Now, I know it's been a long time, but like I explained in the previous video, I just wanted to take a step back and really do this thing right, or certainly a lot better than it was done before, so we can really get all we can get out of this. I still want to help you guys out in finding your perfect pair of raw salvage denim jeans. And so if you cast your mind back, like way, way, way back, we're talking about budget. Now you've got an idea about how much money you're gonna spend on these things, we're gonna talk about the next important factor and that's fit. Now fit for some reason ends up being kind of like a dark art for most guys. I mean, if you just look down the street, you can see a lot of really, really badly fitted denim. But there's just a couple of things you can keep in mind if you want to get the perfect pair of jeans for your body type or for your lifestyle or for the look you're wanting to achieve. I think we're all gonna find that we fit into two separate categories. First category is getting the perfect pair of jeans for your lifestyle and for your body type. The second bunch of guys out there are gonna be the ones that want to get a pair of jeans that represent a certain look. Whether you want to maybe have the jeans that the miners wore down the mines in the Wild West back in the 1890s, or whether you're going for that James Dean look, or for the Marlon Brando look in the wild one. You know, these uh, jeans that kind of like define uh, a look. Now, this is arguably the more simpler way to go about it. And uh, so we'll just cover that quickly just now. Now, if you are going for a certain look, you're actually in luck because let's say, let's say Levi's. Levi's have got a pair of jeans. They're sort of archetype jeans, if you will right back from the beginning of the company, way back in like the 1880s, 1890s. And every sort of, sort of definitive change in either the fit or the features in the jeans, they've actually got a gene that, I, that accurately re uh, recreates that. So you just have to go to their, their archive and you say, okay, so I want to have the Marlon Brando gene. Well, that's um, the 1955 Levi's 501. So you can actually go to the store and you can pick up that exact gene in your size. Also, the, the other good news is that there's a plethora of brands out there that also do their own take on this, on this fit. They, they've gone back and they've looked at these original garments. They've had a look at the denim. They've had a look at exactly how these things were constructed, the stitch count, down to the most minute details. And they've put their own spin on it. They come in a variety of different denims, a variety of different features on them. Um, so you've really got so much choice out there if you want to achieve a certain look, which um, arguably makes things a little bit simpler. So if you fall into that first category and you're just looking for the perfect pair of jeans that are gonna suit your lifestyle and your body type, then this is actually also pretty simple if you just keep three or four things in mind. And these three or four things, so let's take height, we're gonna take your body type, we're going to take your lifestyle and to a certain extent your age, but I think this more goes on to your body type and your lifestyle as well. So, right, let's get scientific about this. I think there's three distinct type of men's shapes or human shapes. Let me get this right. There's the endomorph, the ectomorph, and the mesomorph, or endomorph, mesomorph, ectomorph. Yeah, so basically tall, skinny, sort of average to more athletic build, then slightly on the heavier side as well. And with these three body types, there's certain fits of genes that you're going to be more, or your body's going to be more flattered by. And so this gives you a starting point when you're looking at getting your new genes. So let's actually take a look at this in more detail. So our first category guy is the ectomorph. This is for all you tall skinny guys out there. The ectomorph is normally categorized by flatter chest, smaller shoulders, lean, muscular. It's the type of guy who can guzzle beer all night and have a kebab on the way home and stay skinny. We all know you and we're jealous. Now, the fits you'll be looking towards will be slim, straight leg jeans with a low to medium rise. These will look good on your slender build and are roomy without showing off your slimmer legs. There are some styles you should avoid, like the plague. Um, wide leg, baggy jeans will simply look like you're wearing jeans that don't fit, which you actually are. Skinny jeans will make you look even slimmer and a bit gangly. If you're a bit not neat or bow-legged, this would have served to exaggerate the problem. High-rise jeans will make your bum look like it fainted. Best to steer clear. 
Second guy is the mesomorph. This is the athlete or towards the athlete out there. This guy is a slim waist, muscular legs and buttocks. He probably spends way too much time in the gym and is secretly wishing he could have a kebab with endomorph. For the mesomorph, he's going to be looking for slim, maybe towards regular fitting jeans with a straight leg or a taper. Mid to low rise, although if you have a particularly pert bum, your arse can end up hanging out of low rise jeans. It's not the best look. What you should stay away from? Well, low rise. If the waistband comes anywhere near your ass crack, just stay away from them. Baggy jeans. You've spent all that time at the gym. You don't want to hide it. Regular fits with a wide leg, so basically dad jeans. Uh, you're not Barack Obama and your bottom half is just going to end up looking bigger than the top. Now, with the mesomorph, I'm going to throw in the guy with the massive thighs. These are the guys that are either professional athletes, if you are, I salute you for getting out of the sweats, or the guy that can be heard miles away talking about CrossFit. Can't shut up about CrossFit, in fact. Well, these guys get to have jeans too. Luckily, in the last year or so, many brands have been stepping up and making jeans for just these guys. Mid to high rise, the roomy thigh, taper from the knee down. These jeans are going to look great in these guys, and they can also be perfect for the stockier fellow as well. You're going to want to look towards brands like, let's see, Leftfield, 316, Telesin. They all do awesome versions of this fit. Oh, and Benzac. They've also just dropped a similar fit also. Definitely check it out. And this brings us on to the last body type, the endomorph. These are the bigger fellows amongst us. So with a wide midsection and larger thighs, larger butt, larger calves. These are the guys hanging around with the endomorph, loving at the mesomorph and all the salads. Jeans with a higher rise will be your go-to. This will flatten out your midsection and tuck in your butt and thighs. Look for a straight cut, slightly on the wider side for the sake of comfort. You're going to want to stay away from skinny and slim fits. This would is create an imbalance in your lower and upper half and no one wants that muffin top look. So there's another couple of fits that are worth a mention. And if you want these, you've got to ask yourself a few questions first. First one would be the skinny fit. Question would be, are you a male model with dead shark eyes? Are you a rock star? If no, then you're not allowed. Second one would be the boot cut. Is it the early noughties? Are you a cowboy? If the answer is no, then stay away. Lastly would be the baggy. You know that massive, massive fitting jean? You've got to ask yourself, I say no, just you're not allowed. So guys, now you can see we're really narrowing things down. You've got an idea about the budget you're going to want to spend. You've got an idea about the fit that's going to suit your body type. Now, I know I mentioned lifestyle is an important factor as well, but that's also kind of going into the weight of denim that you're going to choose. And we're going to cover that in the next vlog. It's kind of a big topic. So until then, thank you very much for tuning in. Um, hit that subscribe button. It really, really helps us out. Hit that like button as well. And if you're looking for any more in-depth information, head over to ropedye.com. It's all laid out for you there. And till then, I'll see you in the next vlog.